guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing what is Montessori and five tips slash kind of tricks on how to get started. So Montessori is honestly just a certain type of parenting. It just kind of has to do with more gentle parenting, listening to your child, their needs and their wants and kind of going at their developmental pace. It's not one pace fits all. And there's so much that really goes into Montessori. Um, I say it a lot, but it's a lot of research. You have to do a lot of research on your own, what age your child is at, also considering their developmental like milestones whenever they're hitting them, which will contribute on the way that you do Montessori, the parenting, Montessori play, yada, yada, yada. For the people that are wanting to start Montessori, they kind of have a little bit of a backstory in it or they've done a little bit of research in it, these tips are for you. So the first tip is get rid of all your electric toys. Electric toys don't really have that much space in Montessori, but again, like I said, Montessori is a lot dependent on the child and the parent on how you want to do Montessori. So this might not necessarily be for everyone, but for me personally, and if you want to go the more traditional Montessori route, electric toys don't really fit into those categories because once you buy the electric toy for your child, they play with it for about a week or two and then they're over it and it just takes up space. But like I said, depends on each child. Number two is respect your child. Talk to the child, not at the child. Try talking to them like they're your best friend or if they're the same age as you, the more, how could you say, not responsibility, but the more space you give them to act more grown, they're more prone to act grown. If you treat them like a child, they will act like a child. Tip number three is let your baby help you. Kids strive whenever they're learning or trying to learn or given the opportunity to learn. So in any chance that you see that you can add your child to that activity, even if it's just cutting some apples with a stale knife, like they're gonna appreciate it a lot and they're gonna love learning. And I don't know, it's just gonna keep your, ha your baby a lot happier if they feel helpful instead of just kind of in the way. Tip number four is stop saying no. Try shifting to a yes. That I feel like it's kind of gonna have to be its own video because there's a lot that really goes into that. I know you guys see my baby <laughs> hanging down here. Just to kind of sum it up in here, you just shift to a yes that's more appropriate or you really have no issue and doesn't necessarily break the rules that you're saying no to at the moment and try explaining why. Like if it has to be a definite no, like there's no way around it, it is a no, explain why it's a no, not just no. And my favorite tip is tip number five. I kept the best one for last. You don't have to be perfect and you don't have to do Montessori every single day. We're human, we're parents, kids are hard. Being a kid is hard, being a parent is hard. This whole situation is hard. We don't have to be perfect at it 24 seven. As long as you're trying, you are doing Montessori. And there is most likely a lot of activities or in your daily life where you're most likely already doing Montessori. So cut yourself some slack, take a breather and just have fun in the moment with your child of getting to know them and learning this whole process all over again in a whole different healthier way instead of the toxic ways we were brought up. Uh, yeah, this video was kind of short, but I really hope those tips at least help somebody out there. I will be back with another video shortly. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye.